book again, but it's not on iPi reading. And where's the book? Oh, here it is. So I'm going to be reading Sam and Dave Dig a Hole. Matt Barnett, illustrated by John Cassin. It says it here. I don't really know how to read names. So now we are reading it. Here's the red page and here's some words. There. Sam and Dave are digging a hole and they will not stop until they find something spectacular. A junior library guy go okay, I don't I don't know how to pronounce this word or what it means, but selection ten fourteen. Okay, I don't know how to read these numbers. But we'll just move on. So now it's a apple tree. And this is Sam and Dave, a dog and the apple tree again. Candlewick Press. On Monday, Sam and Dave dug a hole. When shall we stop digging, asked Sam. We're on a mission, said Dave. We won't stop digging until we find something spectacular. The hole got so deep that their heads were underground, but they still had not found anything spectacular. So they kept digging. They took a break. Dave drank chocolate milk out of a key canteen. Sam ate animal cookies he had wrapped in their grandfather's kerchief. Baby, said Dave, the problem is that we're digging straight down. Yes, said Sam, that could be the problem. I think we should dig another direction, said Dave. Yes, said Sam, that is a good idea. So the, the problem is this, in this story that they can't, yeah, like in real life, they can't really see where there's something spectacular is. Usually when they were, when they were digging when they were digging over here, the dog sniffed out this little gem ruby. And now that they want to dig this way or this way, another direction, even though that this gem is down here they have to they want to go this way so just in real life this you can't see what you you might be digging if you are straight or go another direction on this part they need to, the problem is they need to go this way but on this they want to go this way but a, bigger gem is right down there. So they have to keep straight digging to find this gem, but they want to go this direction or this direction. They have to turn to another direction. They want to, just in real life, the same thing in real life. See, you're digging like L, and the dog sniffed out this gem ruby and this gem ruby and he's just looking at the boys he just wants he just said say woof woof so the men don't understand that the treasure is here i have a new idea said dave let's split up really said sam just for a little while said dave it will help our chances good and here's a bigger ruby. They don't really want to go this direction, aren't they? They want, don't want to go straight down now. So that is the problem of this story. They never found anything spectacular. So Dave went 
one way and Sam went another. And then they meet again, both of them sliding down. The man on this side can slide down and the man on this side has to climb up. But they did not find anything spectacular. Maybe we should go back to digging straight down, said Dave. Yes, not really in the straight life that the dirt will just go like, like, boom, like we'll just land here. That is the only problem that isn't like straight life. The, the dirt just floats up into the air. Yes, this is just a book, so it's just like that. We'll just leave. Oh my, as you can see, this is a big, they should have went this way since this big, huge, dirty, I mean, beautiful gem is just have spots. That means it's kind of dirty since it's, I mean, all in these dirt and stuff like that. But this huge Denarius gem right here, even bigger than your own parents' hands, even bigger than my hand. Those, those are smaller. See, my hand can fit there, but this is ginormous. This is like bigger than my head. Okay, okay. See, so they should have went this way, but now they went a little digging that way. And then what happened? They should have digged this way. The dog is right up here smelling this big gem while they dig down there. It's really cool. Yes. Yeah. Look at the camera. So I 